Hey, Phil from Trigon. Uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about some less than lethal options today. Um, before we get into that, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what happened in Arkansas a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the ATF has seemed inclined to continue with their tradition of administering the death penalty before there has even been a trial. Most recent case was in Little Rock, Arkansas, uh, just back in March, a couple of weeks ago. A guy by the name of Brian Malinowski. They served a uh, no-knock pre-dawn raid. They raided his house at 6 a.m. He ended up being fatally wounded. He died the next day. So something to keep an eye on, guys. According to the Second Amendment Foundation, Arkansas State Police have launched an independent investigation to decide whether or not they're going to bring any charges against the ATF. Uh, but could be a good idea to contact your state, your U.S. representative and your U.S. senators and just let them know that somebody needs to be looking at this because I'll tell you what, if we don't question them on it and hold their feet to the fire a little bit, they're going to keep doing it. I mean, they may keep doing it anyway, but we can possibly make it a little more difficult. So uh, yeah, they're uh, definitely exercising lethal options. So with, without even any due process, right? So kind of a major slam to the constitution. Um, I've got some products here, less than lethal things that we carry at Trigon. And there's a lot of debate about should you have lethal and less than lethal? And that's a question that everybody kind of has to answer for themselves. Uh, it can be a good idea because um, the notion that the solution to every product problem that you encounter is to uh, take somebody out with deadly force, not always going to fly well in court. Um, some people really don't have the stomach for it. I totally get that. It's not an appealing idea. So just some real easy options. Pepper spray. The advantage it can give you time to stun a threat and get away, run away without any kind of an altercation, without worrying about going to jail. Downsides to the spray is if you're outside and it's windy, it may not work. If you're inside and the HVAC system is running, you're going to gas everybody else inside along with the assailant. So to counteract that, we have the same capsaicin that is suspended in a gel instead of an aerosol. Uh, this has a range out to about six yards. It's not going to be impacted by the wind. It's pretty sticky, so when it gets on there, it's gonna stay there. If you deploy it inside, it is absolutely not going to find its way into the HVAC system and gas everybody that you don't wanna gas. So these are a couple of really inexpensive options that you have of the two again i'd say the gel is going to be your more reliable option so um for you know you ladies it can fit in your purse or anything else you know pretty easily guys it has a belt clip on it you can clip it on a belt you could put it like in a oh like a vertex unity clutch belt or something there's a lot of different things in a backpack a lot of stuff you can do with it so the last option that I have here, and this is kind of um, kind of bulky, it's not something you're gonna conceal real easy, but uh, it could be an effective option. This is a salt, less than lethal gun. Um, this is a much more affordable version of something else that uh, has been out there and been really popular, and you've probably seen it on TV. I don't want to say the name of it, but it starts with a B and ends with an Erna. Uh, so with this kit that we have at Trigon, this is CO2 powered, okay? Uh, the magazine, only a five round capacity, so not a lot of capacity, but it's something. And uh, CO2 goes in the bottom here. It does not pierce until you tap it. So you can have this unit ready to go, and if the time comes where you want to use it, tap it just like you'd insert a magazine, and it's going to pierce your CO2 cartridge and be ready to go. Of course, once that cartridge is pierced, 
your limited time with within a few hours you're gonna want to fire it out so what else comes in this kit we've got uh, these are pepper spray balls they're basically like a hard plastic when they hit on impact it will disperse pepper spray again it's going to be a lot like the aerosol it's not going to be sticky or anything but you hit close enough to the face hopefully you're going to do something there it comes with impact rounds that are just designed to really stun somebody now i've not been shot with this yet i don't know and i don't know when i will be <laughs> i may try and avoid that but uh that's another option is just for the impact to stun somebody and keep them off of you uh, last thing we've got are training rounds these are reusable so they're a little bit softer I'm sure that they're still gonna hurt but uh, that that gives you an opportunity if you want to do a little force on force or if you're just a little bit um, masochistic and you want to see what it feels like hey put those babies in and fire one at your foot but if this has been part of your conversation about what's available to me for less than lethal options, there are a lot of things out there. These are the three that we actually have in stock right now at Trigon. You can also check them out on our website. So just wanted to give you a little information, uh, things that are available, and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.